And speaking of snow, what goes better with snow than a shovel? No, that's not a weather school question. That's what Albuquerque's team Shovel Meister figures anyway. These three guys say they are building the best shovel sled. It's sort of a combination of a bobsled and a soapbox derby. The first weekend in February, they'll they race their contraption at Angel Fire's World Shovel Race Championship. This will be the 23rd year for that event. And more on Team Shovel My Stuff when Bill Wood talks with them tonight at 10. <laughs> that looks like fun. I love saying their name as if you can tell. You <laughs> and if skiing isn't your sport, maybe shovel racing is. Bill Wood will have our story. Skiing is one winter sport, but in Angel Fire, New Mexico, during the second week in February, sports fans can catch a race like no other race in the world. That's right. Our Bill Wood has the story of the Albuquerque team that's preparing for a first place finish. The question is, what is it? It's bigger than a bread box, weighs less than 500 pounds, and flies through the snow with the greatest of ease. So, what is it? Give up? <laughs> so do I. Maybe I should ask the three guys who plan to put their bodies inside this contraption and fly through the snow with the greatest of ease. Let me introduce them. Left to right, Gail, John, Kent. Okay, guys. <laughs> what is it? It's like a cross between bobsled and soapbox derby for snow. And here's how they use it at the world's only shovel race championship at Angel Fire where everybody races downhill in whatever and however, as long as it somehow includes a shovel. And remember, if the shovel's not touching the ground, you can't be disqualified. Shovel adjustment. There's the shovel and the steering wheel and the brakes. The brakes? It's uh, designed to go down uh, a ski slope at speeds up to 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I guess you need brakes. And also remember, you may not have the momentum component, but you reduce the coefficient of friction. Huh? The more weight, uh, the, the faster you're going to start. It's the New Mexico version of the Indy 500, and you thought shovels and snow were enemies. Bill Wood, Q13 News, Albuquerque. Wow, those guys are brave. Gail, John, and Kent call themselves Team Shovel Meister, and you can meet them and see their shovel tomorrow night at Time Out Bar in downtown Albuquerque. Who knows, maybe one day we'll see it as an experimental sport in the Olympics. That's true. <laughs> We come down, they zip down. When we come back, they zip down mountainsides with breakneck abandon. Hoping for graceful glides on some unlikely sleds, a sport lots of people dig when we come back. More than two decades, New Mexico's Angel Fire Ski Resort has hosted a most unusual winter competition. Tonight, Dan Monahan gets the scoop on the shovel racing from a team getting ready for that big event. This bundle of sparks and steel will soon become Team Shovelmeister's newest high-speed racer. At least that's the plan. Things could go downhill fast. Until it's finished and on a snowy slope, there's no sure way of knowing exactly what it might do. There's a, there's a, a large degree of uncertainty in this sport. For sure. <laughs> Did he say uncertainty or insanity? It could be either. After all, this is a sport of spectacular crashes, of thrills with spills. Team Shovelmeister already has several sleds of varying degrees of sophistication, including Thor's hammer, shovel racing at its high-tech sleekest. There is no room to spare in the cockpit, but claustrophobia isn't the real concern. This isn't scary, but it's the trip down the hill that's uh, pretty hair-raising. In past years, frozen bales of hay greeted stray sleds. These days, it's a more humane net. Braking is everything in a shovel racer. In fact, Thor's hammer has an air-powered plow. But until you cross the finish line, winners never break. And actually, it's, it's that. It's, we love speed. We love to do extreme sports. It's called shovel racing for a reason. And yes, people really do ride shovels. Despite the wild rides and wide smiles, these competitors say they are serious about their sport. While there's no real money in it, pride and bragging rights are at stake. 
After all, for a year, the winner is the best in the world at something. Dan Monahan, Action 7 News. Well, the uniquely New Mexican shovel racing takes place on the first weekend of February at Angel Fire Ski Resort, and I'd say it's something to see. Better be a stuntman to do that, huh? A stunt from the movie Dump. It's easily ranking as one of New Mexico's weirdest sporting events, and its annual appearance is looming. On the first weekend of every February, Angel Fire Ski Resort hosts the shovel races. Each of the odd vehicles has somewhere on it a shovel touching the snow. Albuquerque's team Shovelmeister is busy building a hot new sled and getting the veteran vehicles ready for another run on the hill. They say the odd event has a strong but simple attraction. And so it was the speed, you know, and just riding a shovel. I mean, it's like you always wanted to be able to take a, a sled and go up to the ski run and really go, but they won't let you, so it's very similar to that. Shovelmeister team members say you don't have to be crazy to ride a shovel-based sled upwards of 70 miles an hour. Ooh, but it doesn't hurt. It may not hurt to be crazy, but it hurts to crash. Ooh, Ooh. Look at that. I think yeah. I'll stick to my skis. <laughs> a little more under control. 